Listen, let's go, let's go. Hurry up. Go where? Hurry up, let's go. I said I'm not going. You have to go with me. Why? I can't go with you. I'm your boss. You have to go with me. No, okay? I'm not going anywhere. Are you saying no to your boss? Yes, I'm not no, going no. anywhere. Take your back, <laughs> let's go. Why are you? What is it? Kemi. It's me, it's me, open. Are you alone? It's me, I'm alone. Are you sure? Yes. Look at what you've done to yourself. Kemi, thank you so much for coming. Please don't thank me, I won't be here next time. Please keep that aside first. Did he die? Yeah. Tell me. Don't tell me I committed murder. Why? Are you scared of being tagged the murder and being miserable your whole life? I saw it. I, 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 I saw blood. I saw blood. It was so real. Like the, 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 the body was just there. It was, it was not moving. Then why did you do it again? Kill all day. He, 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 he was bugging me. He was bugging me to go on a trip with him. But I refused. But he, he just. He was just disturbing. Ah! That's why you broke a bottle on his head. I had to do it. How to do what? Why? Can you please, please come and calm down? Tell me, tell me. When, 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 when you got there, did you, did you? He's not dead. He's not dead. Well, if I didn't arrive early, something bad would have happened. Thank you. Kenny, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Don't you know what I've done at this point? I, I was so confused. I didn't know what to do. Thank you so much. Oh, don't shut up. Thank you. Don't shut up. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> 
Okay. Okay. So, so what now? Now, do you know what you're going to do for me? Okay. Please, you need to see a therapist because I'm not sure you're okay. No, I don't. I just need to sleep. I've not had good sleep since this unfortunate incident. Just can't pick enough to make yourself comfortable. Do you want to sleep? Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Let me thank you so much. Kini. Ah! Oh, wow. What's all this? She will lock this door. Cynthia. Cynthia. No, you can't say that I am a big ham. No, but how did you people get to find out about it? Oh, is he? Sir, I can explain. I can explain because this is going to another direction and I'm not comfortable with it. I, I mean, I was not at fault. He, he would not leave me alone. I, I was right. I was doing what was right. Ham? What am I? A chemical? Huh. Ah! Ah! Shit! Ah! Wait, hold on. They dismissed you from your company. Just like that? Just, just because of that? I'm not surprised. No, no, no. I, are you surprised? You're surprised? Look at the way you were just talking to him without no remorse. But I did not do anything wrong. No, you did. In fact, if I can remember correctly, right, I'm the only person in this whole world that is still your friend. I'm the only friend you have. And that's because I'm the only person patient enough to understand you. Look, you need to look for a solution. This is the fifth job in one year that you've been dismissed from. Doesn't it tell you something? You are the problem. Seek for a solution. A solution? Yes. Listen, I know someone, okay? He's a therapist. He has helped countless number of people go through their stuff. You, you'll be better. Trust me. You need to stop this and calm down. Look for a good solution. I ah! need a drink. <sighs> Hi. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is this is what I'm talking about. Come and arrange your house, though. Huh? Yeah, sure. Sure. Not a problem at all. Yeah, for sure. Look, I'm going to be in the office in 30 minutes. Yes, it's my job. I can handle it. It's not a problem at all. You just wait and I will see you soon, okay? Oh shit, Becky. All right, I'll call you back. Upstairs. I'm sorry. Blind lunatic. Hey, get I didn't out. see you. I'm truly sorry. I didn't see her. <sighs> Come in. Wait, you're the guy I met earlier? Are you the therapist no my way. friend told me about? And you are the friend that she told me about. I bumped into you earlier and I deserve an apology, you know that? No, I don't. I never apologize. I am never wrong. Okay, fair enough. Please sit down.
Well, um, well, I, I hope we can start on a clean slate, fresh. My name is Oscar, and um, I'll be your therapist. You're my client. I will be with you on this journey, helping you find the best version of yourself. Usually I um, start with um, history. So I'm going to ask you, what's your history? What do I need to know? Oscar. Yeah. Like Oscar words. <laughs> hmm. You know, you should be given an award for being the ugliest man on earth. Who won't mind this business? Leave my history alone. Let's move on. All right. All right. Um, uh, okay, we will... Um, let's, let's talk about something else. Let's, um, let's talk about the present. What is your name? Just tell me something about yourself. You know I know you, right? Hmm? Yes. I know when you're really watching a movie and I know when you're just distracting yourself. Is everything okay? Nothing. Everything is fine. Okay. So how is your session going? Session? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean with the therapist guy? Mm -mm. With my head. Of course, with the therapist. Well, how was it? You know, one thing about therapists is the fact that they always think that they are always right. How? I mean, he was demanding that I apologize to him. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Me, I know you. He must have done something wrong. That's why he's demanding for an apology. No, you don't know them. I know them much more better than you. Thank you. Sorry, oh. Madam <sighs> Noest. Excuse me. Okay. My company. I mean, my ex company. <sighs> Hello? <sighs> is, it, is everything okay? This property belongs to the company. Okay. And since I no longer work with them, my privilege has expired. <gasps> oh, my dear friend, I'm so sorry. Your dear friend is, is, is homeless, lost, useless. It's okay, stop, stop. Don't say another word. It's going to be fine. Look, I'm here for you, okay? I'm so sorry. It's okay, stop. Stop crying now. I don't like it when you cry. Should I cry with you? It's okay. <sighs> Sorry. This is my brother who has been so busy lately, but I hardly yes. see you, brother. Look at this one, see who is talking. I, I mean, I'm the one that's supposed to be saying this to you. Your, your therapist work has taken the better part of you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Um, Actually, it's been quite interesting lately, you know? Um, but how are you? How is your babe, man? I hope you're taking good care of her. Better than you can ever imagine. Okay. You know how we'll find her, right? You know, you know, I think you need to get yourself one so that you can understand my answers whenever I see them. <laughs> mm. Or is there one already? Well, um, I mean, I was carried away by an interesting character I met earlier today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your client? Yeah, I know. It's not professional to be carried away, but truthfully, I couldn't help it. 
Wow. So are you trying to tell me now that you like her? First of all, she is just a client. I mean, a unique client, you know, mm. a unique client mm. that needs my help. Unique, you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I should be expecting or expecting something? No, no, no. It's, it's harder than you think. It's not that simple. Mm. Anyways, can we talk about something else? <laughs> Let's talk about you. How is life, man? I haven't See, seen you somebody in a long that time. I'm, I'm asking Christian and you're, you're telling me, I'm fine. I'll be busy. <laughs> hey, there's one deal I wanted to close up last week. Mm. What millions of naira? Tell me about it. Ah, man, you won't even believe what happened. What happened? Let me. Leaving already? What are you doing here? Yes, I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going home. What were you doing? Working. Actually working. What real people do. Mm, mm -hmm. So I'm fake now. Well, what do you want? <laughs> Let's go. I want to go. Let's well, go. You want me to drop you home? You want to yes. Live? Oh, yes. You want to yes. Live? yes. Say it loud. I want to live. I want to live, so let's go. You want to do me? Hmm? <laughs> Nothing, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Let's go. Come on, let's. Hurry up, Mr. Therapist. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Why are you so serious? Why am I so serious? Mm -hmm. Why should I be laughing? You're supposed to laugh anytime you see me. Really? Yes. With all the trouble you give me? Uh huh. If I don't, who will? <laughs> You're so troublesome, you know that? I know. But that's what BFFs are for, right? BFFs. Mm -hmm. For Best trouble. Forever and ever. For trouble. Yes, and ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And how is my friend I told you about? Oh, uh, that old friend's session and, um, she's gonna be better. I'm so happy. Yeah, she will. Oh my she's god. Um, uh, confidence that she's, uh, she's gonna be better. I'm proud of you. You're proud great. You. My BFF is the best therapist in the <laughs> world. <laughs> people <laughs> come here, these people. All your requests, they are very difficult. No, this one is you. very simple. Trust me. Simple. Do you there's trust nothing me? simple when it comes to you. What? <laughs> there's nothing simple when it comes to you. Okay, just okay. Trust me. Let me just say it. Okay, I'm listening with one ear closed. One ear closed and the other one open. Yes. Yeah, okay, the one that's open should hear me. Yeah, right. I want you to please mm -hmm. let my friend come stay in your house. What? You have such a big house. No one is there. What? What? What is what? Totally impossible. It's totally possible. No, first of all, mm -hmm. it's not professional to have my clients. You know, I'm now a therapist uh -uh. to have my clients in my house. I mean, secondly, she's I mean, it's a lady here yeah? being too close to me like that. Well, first of all, uh -huh. my friend, the therapist sitting close to me, said nothing is impossible. One, oh second, <laughs> secondly, I'm your friend. So, I'm not anyone else. I'm your BFF so, and she's close to me. My friend is your friend, remember? She's, uh, Please, come on. She's an, she's an associate. What? Not really a friend, friend, <laughs> kind of associate. She's like my that. friend and you have to be there for her because I want to be there for her too. You want her to sit in the house with me? You're going to watch her 24 7. That's even better. Please, Look, please, could, please, 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 I'm not going to stop saying please. Thank you. Thank you so How much. How is that going to happen? I've never thought about it. It's, it's going to be nice, trust me. And you're the best, best friend in the world. You're so fine. Ah, ah, hey. Kilo de. What's your Kilo shele. Who fire it? Can you, you get down? Please let me call Uber for you, please. Uber please, what? Please. I'm going to call Uber for Let's you. go Seriously. together. I'm not going anywhere no, without you. No, no. Let's no. go. I hate you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't ask you to do that for me. I am not helpless. What you are. 
You were asked to vacate this house in three days. Three good days. What other options do we have? Still, I didn't ask you to meet him. I don't need help. I didn't ask for your help. Calm down. Ah! Calm down. Calm down, please. Just, just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You told a stranger to allow me into his home and you're telling me to calm down? Calm down. Just calm down. You know I would have left you into my house. You're my friend. But the house is filled up. My sisters are there. Everywhere is choked. Besides, he's my friend. I know him. I trust him. I hate it. I hate situations like this. Situations that make me feel helpless. It's okay. No! It's okay. Just calm down. No! Take him. Kimmy told me that you guys uh, tried to get a place, but uh, none was uh, actually coming up. So, um, being my very good friend, when she told me about your condition, where is my room? Not. Look, uh, I want you to understand that uh, on a normal, I should not allow my client to live in my house with me, but. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a professional and I have my set of rules. Mr. Therapist, where's my room? I'll pay you. This is not some form of charity. Okay. It's upstairs. Uh, the staircase is on the left. The room is the first room on the right. A second, as your housemate, you're already ordering me around. I didn't order you. I just sent a, a message, a humble message to you. Indeed. What is it? Just uh, sit down, please. Let's talk. Sit down, let's... Look, uh, I want to help you, but first of all, I need to understand your history, know your history, your background, and um, that's where we're going to start from. I can assure you that you will reap the benefit from our uh, 
therapist uh, client relationship. And um, another thing is that uh, we are housemates now, but I would prefer we do our sessions in my office. That's the most uh, professional thing to do. And thirdly, your friend came and told me about your condition. She told me everything, and I understand that you are currently broke. So if you need to use... I please... am broke? Is that what you think? No, no, call me a beggar, if that is what you want to say. That's not what I meant. Shut up. That's how you therapists behave. Acting like the entire world is in your hands. I'll pay you. When I start working, I'll pay you and get the hell out of your life. Don't pity me. Don't make me look less of a human. I'm not done talking to you. I'll pay you when I start working. That's a good start. Where do we go from here? I must say, I'm, I'm shocked, really surprised to see you here today. Mm. After what happened yesterday, I know. Yeah, but the fact that you're here means you want to talk. I won't apologize though. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not, I'm not asking you to apologize. I just want you to talk so I can get to help you. You came into my room last night to drop my shoes. Is that also part of the agreement? To barge into my room anytime you wish? I only came to your room to bring the shoes that you threw at me yesterday. I don't see anything wrong with that. Can we just uh, focus? Uh, stay on our lane and, and talk about you. I need to talk about you to be able to help you. Fine. All right. Thank you. So, um, from what I have observed, I believe you're suffering from what we call uh, IED. Intermittent Explosive Disorder. Um, if you look at the rage, the violence, 
um, the impatience, the arguments, they are all signs of IED. So what I want to know is, did you have a rough childhood? Are you saying that I have a problem? I just explained what the problem is to you in detail. Why is everybody trying to make me believe that I have a problem? I need help, not a problem. Yeah, but if you need help, it means you have a problem. Without having a problem, you won't need help. Anyways, I understand you're still in denial, so that's okay. We can still move on. Stop, Stop it! Stop telling me that I have a problem. There is nothing wrong with me. Stop telling me that I have a problem. Stop! Stop! Calm down. Cynthia. Cynthia. Take a deep breath, please. Breathe in. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Easy. Um, I'm sorry I didn't mean to upset you. What I was just trying to do was to give you an idea of what might be going on with you as it is my job to help you understand what the problem really is. Oscar. It's obvious you're having a tough time. So tell me, is it a client? A client and a housemate. <laughs> that come man, it's not funny. It's not, it's not funny at all, I mean. She needs help. She really needs help. I can help her. But she just won't admit that she has a problem. Listen, Oscar. For the fact that she's not accepting that she has a problem, it simply means she doesn't want to help herself. I don't see any reason why you're wasting your time on this one. It's easier if you tell her you're no more doing this therapy thing again. No. I can't do that, bro. I mean, I, I can't give up on people who need help. That's not me. That's not who I am. That's not what I wish to be. Nice one. Nice punchline. Anyway, it's your cross. Carry it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you. My own is whenever you're around me, please don't wear that look. It makes you look awful, you know. Yeah. So, Alpha, we are losing. Why? Ah, did you watch that matches? Yes, I was. Look, can you try and talk to me? Please. Like, see me not just as your therapist, see me as a friend. Talk to me. I, I didn't have that while growing up.
earlier you asked me how my childhood was. I guess you really don't want to know. I want to know. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm talking to you. That's why I'm asking you because I want to know. I don't care how shitty your childhood was. I don't care about that. I care about it now. I want to know. So please, please talk to me. Once upon a time, I, I was, I was a normal young girl. I'm saying this because I never knew that I would grow up to become a person that, that derives joy <laughs> in being aggressive and, and, and violent. But then, something happened that changed you. Something happened. What is it? Come on, talk. Cynthia, what is it? What happened? <laughs> Talk to me. What happened? Tragedy. Tragedy struck. I lost my dad when I was when I was eight. My mom got, got married to a monster. My stepfather. It's okay. It's okay. He would hit me. I wasn't like other kids. And how, how worthless I was. How, how I was not good enough. And this the students didn't help out either. You know, I, I used to stutter. <laughs> they would mock me and tell me how useless and, and, and different I was. At home, I, I faced terror. And at school, I, I faced the worst. So sad. So, so sad. I wore shame as clothes. I woke up every morning <laughs> to remind myself how, how useless and... <laughs> To remind myself how useless and, and I was, how I wasn't good enough until I broke someone's head. What did the person do? As usual, he wanted to bully me, <laughs> but I came prepared. I hit his head with a bottle and he fell on the ground and, and blood started oozing out from his head. He didn't die. Okay. But I felt good. 
and I continued to till till then. Violence became the only means to to protect my inner self. I am so sorry for how terrible your upbringing was. I'm so sorry. And I want to thank you for Open it up to me. I promise you, we are going to work through this together. Okay? That doesn't mean I have a problem. I only give them what they deserve. Do you trust me? Do you trust me? I guess so. Uh, let's, let's say I, I just want to give it a try. Good. <sighs> Hold on. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Oh my God, but I missed you I so missed much. you! I missed you! Oh, baby, it's been like forever. Hey, yeah, it's just a week. It's one week, not too much for you. Mm. Oh, please, now oh, it was terrible. I missed you. I missed you, darling. Anyway, tell me. I hope you've been going for a therapy session. Just tell me. Hey, you don't need to remind me. I am working on that. Cynthia, look, very soon you're going to land yourself a job. And if you don't find a way to manage your problems, they will trash you like the others. Can you even hear me? I've heard you. It's, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Before you get angry. Sorry. No. I'm fine. Who do we have ah! here? Come here, darling. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You didn't tell me you were coming. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know I almost forgot something? What? I know you want me to forget. What? But there's no way I'm going to forget. What? Happy birthday! Oh, God. <laughs> I was trying hard for nobody to remember. How come you remember it? It's not gonna happen on my watch. I will always remember. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is your birthday. Let's just cook something and have a house party. No way I want a quiet birthday. That's all. It's not going to be something too big. I'm, I'm going, though. I'm going. Let's go, because I'm going. Oh Leave me alone. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, Kemi. What? Oh. <laughs> Crazy girl. And once again, happy birthday to you, my one. Long life and prosperity. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And before I forget, this food is fantastic. Thanks for inviting me over. No, you're welcome. Uh, courtesy of um, Cynthia and Kemi. Mm -hmm. They decided to do this for me. Mm. Yeah. And who is the housemate? Oh, I figured. It's you. Is your mouth always this wide? Spewing stupid things. Wow. I did not insult you. I only just wanted to find out if you're the housemate. No, you're just being nosy. Oscar, you never told me you live with a lunatic. Hey, look, come on, that was harsh, all right? Hey, just relax. It's okay, all right? Didn't you hear what she said? She said, I'm spewing stupid things. She doesn't even know me. I don't know her. It's okay, right? It's fine. She really needs help. Uh, Cynthia, 
Did you just target that at me? Cynthia, 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 please, please, hey, Cynthia, 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 please, Cynthia. Oh my God. How dare you, huh? How dare you call my friend a lunatic? Listen, you and your friend are both lunatic. Huh? But of course, she's the obvious one. Shut up! Shut up! I don't care if you're Oscar's friend. I will not stand here and watch you saw my friend. Rubbish. Come get out! Cynthia? Cynthia? Um, I just want to talk. Can you open up, please? Cynthia? Come on, just open up. I, I just want to talk. Cynthia, please. Okay? the rage or anything you feel and as you run you throw them to the wind you release what you feel inside to the wind and I show you you're gonna feel better all right yeah come on let's go No good, no good. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Are you trying to punish me for ruining your birthday dinner? No, 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 not at all. On the contrary, I just want you to know that it's not worth it. All you have to do is to take the anger, take every negative energy you feel inside, 
and toss it to the wind whenever you go for a run. Whenever you go for a run, you feel better. Are you trying to say that running will help me? You tell me. I mean, how do you feel? Uh, uh, how do you good, feel? Not good. Not good? Uh, well. Uh, uh. What? Come on. <laughs> okay, fine. In as much as my leg hurts mm. and I feel good inside, uh -huh. I mean, this is therapeutic. It is therapeutic. Yeah. And I'm a service, right? Yeah. Huh? Right. Right. Okay. So. <laughs> what? You <laughs> come on, thief! Tell me I was part of your dinner plan. Surprises are not meant to be told. No, nope. it's a surprise. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Just a little way of saying thank you for being my therapist. Thank you too. I appreciate it. And truth to be told, I am actually famished. <laughs> What is their problem? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Did you notice anything when you tasted the food? No. Why? Mm. Look, uh, it's nothing. Food is uh, delicious. Just, um, <laughs> it's nothing. No, it's uh, just a little, you know, um, a little salt. Um, uh, um, it's nothing, it's really nice, um, delicious. In fact, I actually like uh, salt. Mm. <laughs> I love most salt, right? Mm. Ginger. Breathe. Shut up! Oh! Don't tell me to breathe! Cynthia! Hit me! Can you just stop? Don't tell me to stop! You just told me to my face that I'm not good enough! To hell with your therapy! To hell with everything! I can never say that to you. I was just, I was just talking about how I felt about the food. My just face. shut up! Shut up! You're just like others. You're just like everyone. Don't come close to me. If you come close to me, I'll break into your head. Fine. Okay. All right. Get out! Easy. Yeah, I will. Yes. I will. Easy.
Guy, so you will not tell me about her? Why should I tell you about her? Mm. She's my client. Can't you understand? I know she's your client. She's also your housemate. <sighs> I'm come to think of it. I know you like her. Look, to hell with what you think. I don't care about your thoughts. I need to concentrate, to focus, to think. All right? Think Please. about what? None of your business. <laughs> hey, you just tell me you want to think about her. <laughs> see, let me tell you something. You see, both of them, they have a string of violence in them. But you see that your client, that one in particular, <laughs> her own is obviously worse. <sighs> Do you believe her friend slapped me the other night at your birthday party? <laughs> you are laughing. What's funny? <laughs> See, let me tell you something. It took the grace of God for me to be able to hold myself back from punching her face. So what would you have done if you were in my shoes? <laughs> hmm? I know if you were in my shoes, but this time, um, uh, uh, Cynthia will be in the hospital <laughs> because you will probably break all the bones in your body. I mean, you have patience. I'll be honest with you. You are very, very patient. Mama, that's something I don't have. Well, Cynthia needs to be around people who are patient. Mm. And thank God I'm one, even though I received a slap the last time. Ah, no, guy, no. <laughs> I mean, see... I understand that you're patient. You if I were to be in your shoes, man, I swear she won't even think of sleeping in my house that <laughs> night. I would throw her pitiful ass out on in the street. Yeah, Tango, you're not in my shoes. Oh. All right? Tango, you're not a psychologist. Tango, you're not. Oh, you're me. not her doctor. <laughs> so, uh, are you going to force me to go in the kitchen and get you something to drink? You're getting so worked up about this. I slapped someone who is supposed to be my therapist. Someone that is accommodating me. And you're telling me that I'm worked up? No, I'm supposed to laugh. I'm supposed to dance. I'm supposed to give myself accolades. Cynthia! <laughs> Cynthia! What? Wait, are you actually apologetic about this? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Are you actually insinuating that you did something wrong? Yes, I did something <gasps> wrong. I wasn't supposed to slap him. Now I feel so bad. I don't know what he would be thinking. <gasps> Cynthia, this is the first time that you did something wrong and you admit that you did something wrong. <laughs> hey, God. Cynthia, you... <laughs> you should come and see. Cynthia, you actually admit that you're wrong. Let me stop now. That's not the issue. He will chase me out of this house. I can feel it. No, 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 no. Cynthia, look, you're making progress. That's all you should be bothered about. You're making progress and being a better person. Just leave everything aside, okay? Just leave everything aside, okay? Do you understand me? <laughs> Cynthia. What should I do about him? You know what? Just apologize to him, okay? Tell him that you did something wrong and you know that it's wrong. Just apologize to him. It's that simple. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm proud of you. Hey, <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> Wait, so now I'm on for you like this. Stop now. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry now. I'm proud of you. Hi, Mr. Therapist. Hi, Cynthia. How are you today? I should be the one asking you that. How are you today? I'm okay. Uh, are you still mad at me? Of course not. 
I'm not. I'm fine. Really fine. Will you accept my apology? This is my little way of saying I'm sorry. Are you really apologizing? I shouldn't have reacted that way. I am sincerely sorry. Huh. The truth is, I have tried to get better all these years. Therapy sessions, online and physical, but none of them worked. But now, I am willing to make conscious effort to get better. Are you still willing to help me? Of, of course I'm not giving up on you, Cynthia. And uh, it's also good to hear you say these things you just said. I'm okay. So we are cool? Very cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll be inside. All right. Can I get a hug? Oh. <laughs> okay.
and take a step. You deserve to be loved. Yeah, it's so okay, so right to let somebody in. It's so okay. Who knows if this time you might win? So pull down your walls and let the light of love break through your heart. It's so okay. It's so right to let somebody in. Will you take this chance? Now, how long will you keep pushing away when love comes chasing you? Don't be afraid, open up your heart. You deserve to it's be so okay, so right to let somebody in. It's so okay, who knows if this time.
Good morning, Mr. Therapist. Good morning, Miss Client and housemate. Hope you slept well. Mm hmm I didn't know you drink too. Mm -hmm. I do. I've been doing that for a long time. I mean, drinking is my, is my place of solace. <clears throat> a place of solace? Yeah. Can you, please? So, what if you find a different place of solace? I think we should focus more on my violence and aggressiveness. I appreciate the care, but I need you to leave my drinks alone. Please. What if I become your new place of solace? Stop playing. I'm uh. serious. Whenever you feel like having a drink, why don't you come to me? Talk to me. Let me help you fill that space in your heart, that emptiness with better memories. Mr. Therapist, when is my new session? so much for introducing me to him. Honestly, he's the best therapist I have been in contact with for years. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I told you you can trust me. Thank you so much. 
I know that my friend can be tough sometimes, but <laughs> you were patient and you stayed till the end. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Come on, what can I say? <laughs> I mean, I'm just uh, doing my job, right? Mm -hmm. I do not give up on my clients. So, Cynthia won't be an exception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me get us a drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, what's up? Um, I know that she's making progress, but I need to confirm. I need to be sure. Okay. Confirm what? She's been good. Uh, she hasn't thrown any tantrum or anything like that. She's been doing fantastic. I mean, at least she hasn't broken my head. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but you know I'm a practical person, right? I need to be sure. Is there anything we can do to be sure? Well, yes, sir, but... But what? Say it, please. It's just a little tricky. It could be risky, you know? Okay. Uh, okay. Now, we want to know if she's truly changed, if she's able to live with her insecurities, right? Exactly. Now, you have to do the work. Okay. You have to go hard on her. Once she, once she gets back, just go hard. I say things to her, nasty things. Things you know will get under her skin. Things that you know she hates to hear. So you say these things to her, just go hard, be as hard as possible. If she responds in a calm, cool way, mm -hmm. then we know she's truly changed. If not, just watch out, you know? But it's, it's quite risky, so I don't do this, but if you want, we could give it a try. I'm, I'm willing to risk it. I don't know. She's my friend. Just I'm be careful. Friend. Just be careful. <laughs> horrible. I knew it. I knew it that you can never change. You're horrible. You're an ugly person. Is this it? This is how you betray me. I'm your friend. The world is going to see you as horrible. You're ugly. You are nothing. Hey! 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 Look, I am so sorry. It's okay. Look, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I thought you were making progress, but you're not. I don't care anymore. I don't care whether you're making progress or not. I don't care. My life is important to me. Did you hear me? Kemi, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Kemi. What is wrong with you? We were just testing you. It's all a test. Just testing you. Scare me. Come on. Hey. What's up? Um, I know that she's making progress, but I need to confirm. I need to be sure. Okay? Confirm what? She's been good. Uh, she hasn't thrown any tantrum or anything like that. She's been doing fantastic. I mean, at least she hasn't broken my head. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but you know I'm a practical person, right? I need to be sure. Is there anything we can do to be sure? Well, yes, sir, but... But what? Say it, please. It's just a little tricky. It can, could be risky, you know? Okay. Uh, Okay, now we want to know if she's truly changed, if she's able to live with her insecurities, right? Exactly. Now, you have to do the work. Okay. You have to go hard on her. Once she, once she gets back, just go hard. I say things to her, nasty things. Things you know will get under her skin. Things that you know she hates to hear. So you say these things to us, just go hard, be as hard as possible. If 
she responds in a calm, cool way, mm -hmm. then we know she's truly changed. If not, just watch out, you know? But it's, it's quite risky, so I don't do this, but if you want, we could give it a try. I'm, I'm willing to risk it. I don't know. She's my friend. I, I don't know. I thought you had made progress. It's okay. 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 Yes, you've been wrong and you feel so cold inside It's a familiar room That you don't want to take no more But deep inside You've been searching for Someone that will mend your brokenness So take a chance And take a step You deserve to be loved It's okay It's alright to let somebody in It's okay Who knows if this time You might win So pull down your walls And let the light of love Break through your heart It's okay It's alright To let somebody Take this chance now. How long will you keep pushing away when love comes chasing you? Don't be afraid, open up your heart. You deserve what do you want? Will you give up on your clients? I, I didn't mean to hurt her, she's my friend. But that should have been enough reason for you to hold everything you felt right inside of you. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear that. I want to see you change. I want to see you being better. You gave yourself the reason for you to behave the way you behaved. You did that. You have to stop giving in to any form of hurt. You have to control yourself. And until you are able to do that, then we still have problem. But if you can do that, then we'll have the problem under control. Just give me space. express how, how sorry I am for what happened. I can't even forgive myself for that. Because I 
because I can't imagine being the reason for the pain you felt. I know I can be hard, but I am trying. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Is everything okay? Maybe you should not worry. I'll take care of it. Okay. If you say so. I guess I want to talk about it. Good. Uh, Oscar, right. I'm worried about Kemi. She has been the only friend that remained with me, even after witnessing my very dark side. Each day I stay without talking to her feels like punishment. I'm restless. Well, I'm sure she'll come back. What I think you should worry about is working on yourself and making sure what happened doesn't happen again. I have thought about it. It won't repeat itself again. Good. But This is the longest I have stayed without seeing her. All right, I will give her a call and talk to her about it. Does that make you feel better? What was that for? I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist the, the force of your lips, you know? I, Cynthia, I, uh, I love you. I know it's hard to take in, I know it sounds crazy, but I do, and I want you to believe me or understand me. Because I really do love you. Oscar, you can't love me. I am a total wreck. I am going to hurt you. And I, I don't want that for you. You deserve better. Better? Look, I don't understand your definition of better, but to me, you are more than better. You're the best. Believe me, you are. Best. No, you can't love me. You should not love me. I love you. No. I don't get water. Very, very. What's on TV? Uh, guy. What? This is your face. What Looks happened like to my suspect. face? Suspect? Yes. You're a suspect of love or what? I don't understand where that is coming from. You don't what understand. Do you, what do you mean suspect of love? Okay. All right. I think uh, I like her. Uh, or I think I'm in love with her. I don't understand. Please. Which her? Come on, stop feigning ignorance. You know who I'm talking about. 
I don't understand. Where is that coming from? What do you mean suspect of okay, love? Okay, okay. I 100% agree that I like her. <laughs> and I think, right. well, I think I'm in love with her. I don't understand. Please, which her? <laughs> Come on, stop feigning ignorance. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, you mean your clients and housemates? Her name is Cynthia. <sighs> All right. See, her name is not Cynthia. Her full name is supposed to be Cynthia the Lunatic. <laughs> Listen, you apologize this moment. You take that back. Apologize and take that back. Me? Apologize for what? For speaking badly about my wife. I mean, my future wife, my fiancée. You don't talk about her like that. What? Are you... Is, is there something wrong? I mean, do you have a death wish? Death wish? All the people that have avoided this girl before now, you think they don't have a vivid reason why they did? And yet you want to make her your wife? Yes, I want to wipe her. I've never been more sure of anything than that. Guy, this is crazy. Oh, you are crazy. Ah. What about her violence? Oh, okay. One morning she probably will just wake up and just make up her mind to poison you and you will just leave the earth like that without no reason. Guy, do you even think about this no, thing? you are not thinking right. You are not thinking right because if you were thinking right, you won't be blabbing nonsense out of your mouth. <sighs> Cynthia is a good person. She's good inside. She's sweet. She's kind. She's willing to be better. She's gotten much better. And I'm sure if we're together, she'll be the best version of herself. I see. I see. And you know what? The next time you call Cynthia a lunatic, we'll be at war. There'll be serious problem. Okay. I'm serious. Sorry, noted. Noted, man. Good. Noted. Good. That will not stop you from getting us the drink that we said we are coming to drink. You know Please. the way to the kitchen. You can go and get something for yourself. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't do that with me. You have to go and get the drink. Ah, ah. See this one. No? <laughs> Take your time. Also, beg, you expect me to sit down and let you speak badly about my fiance, right? <laughs> uh, because you're my friend. So you just say, you talk anyhow. You just say just, anything. I am just watching your back. Watch my, my friend. Back. Watch your front. Please go back. and bring the drink. Bless you. Thank you. God bless you. You want to take it yourself? Please take on that one. Let me give it to you. Let me watch your back. Watch you. I'm sorry I'm in your room. I came to help you out with your laundry. I thought you were avoiding me. No, Cynthia doesn't avoid people. Can I have it? Oh, I'm sorry. It, it fell off from your clothes. I'm sorry about that. Oh. Sorry. Thank you for the laundry. Uh, I've been so busy lately, I've not had time to take my things to the laundry. I understand. So tell me about the ring. It looks sort of special and important. Yeah. It's special. My late mother gifted it to me before she passed. Oh. 
so sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's super special to me. This is uh, one of the most important things I have in my life. It reminds me so much of my mother. And that's why I'll be passing it to the queen of my heart. Mm. The right person at the right time. It is a special one then. Very special. Words can cannot explain how special it is to me. What it means in my life. Anyways, thank you again. All right. You're welcome. Um. So should I take all of it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay. I think all the things down there they are all dirty clothes. God, oh my God, I kept wishing and, and praying that you will call. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I have missed you terribly. In fact, something came up right now and I need to talk to you urgently. Yes. No, 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 no. I doubt that I will do something that will, that will prompt that. Something big is cooking and I'm blank on how to think or... <clears throat> blank on what to think or how to react. Yes. I don't know. Right now, I feel like I want to pass out. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll be waiting. Bye. He said he will be giving the ring to the right person at the right time. What are we talking about? The ring. He said it is a sort of heirloom that mm -hmm. the mother gave it to him before she passed. And he would be holding on to it and would be passing it to the queen of his heart. So why are you worked up? Why are you bothered? I don't understand. I'm worked up because I don't think it's, I don't think it will be me. I mean, he kissed me and, and told me he loves me, which I debunked. Hey, hey, hey. Biggs, hold on, hold on, wait. So all this happened when I took a break. Well, and I won't deny the fact that mm -hmm. I am in love with him. Oh. But I have this deep feeling that mm -hmm. he won't deem me fit to have the ring. Ah. Oh, babes, if you look at this very well, you're complicating things. I thought you told me that you told him not to love you. So why are you bothered? Because I want the ring. He's the best man I have met. You don't understand. He's the best man I have met in my entire life. Mm. I, I, I'm not going to be happy if I lose him. Calm down. Calm down. I feel like you're just overthinking everything. Just slow down. Okay? Mm. Stop overthinking. Mm. Calm down. Okay? Baby, you don't understand. Make me understand, babes. Tell me. I have a big problem. I am a Luna. That's why people can't stand me. And I am afraid that that's why men don't want to be with me, including Oscar. No, 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 no. Babes, you're perfect. Okay. You know what? Take a deep breath. In, out. Now I want you to repeat after me. I am enough 
I am enough. I am strong. I am strong. And I am everything good. And I am everything good. Now repeat it again, but mean it. Do I it. am enough. I am strong. I am strong. And I'm everything good. And I am everything good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you, you see? I've missed you. Oh, I missed you too. <laughs> you see why I want you around? I know. Are you blushing because of that? <laughs> Stop. I know. Listen to me. Listen to me. All right? Listen to me. I understand you. But I want you to listen to me. All right? Don't listen to anybody else. Just listen to me. You are beautiful. You are so damn beautiful. Do not listen to anybody else, but listen to me. Believe me when I say you are beautiful. I understand. I totally understand you. All right? I totally understand you. But I want you to listen to me and believe me. You should be the last person in the world to feel inferior. Nobody, nothing should ever make you feel inferior because you are super endowed. You have every, you every single thing. Well endowed, bright, sparkling eyes, pointed nose. Look at you. Beautiful teeth, shiny white teeth. Have everything. The word should stand still at the sight of you. Everybody should bow down to you beauty because you are so damn beautiful. Do you me? Say after me, I'm beautiful. I have what it takes. The word should bow at my presence. Fantastic. 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 That's how you should talk. That's how you should always talk. Talk to yourself and say these words to yourself. Delay is dangerous. That's what keeps ringing in my ear, you know? Delay is dangerous, delay is dangerous. Delay is dangerous. I, I see you're settled on this. And there is nothing this guy here will say the surface of this planet that will make you change your mind. Out. Nothing. I'm dead serious about it. Nothing. Okay. Um, so, tell me, when do you plan to propose? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. I mean, I gave her a hint when she saw the ring. I want this proposal to be a kind of assurance, you know, that no matter what she thinks about herself, no matter how Red, she thinks she is. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. You know, I'm your friend. If you ask me, I'll say it's too soon. Don't you think so? Yeah, that's why I'm not asking you. And for your information, it's not too soon. I mean, how long do I have to wait before I'm certain that she is the one? <laughs> hmm? How long? That's sweet. I never knew you could sound this sweet when it comes to love. <laughs> well, thanks to Cynthia, hey, the... Don't, don't. Don't try it. Don't worry. I meant thanks to Cynthia, the good girl. <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's better. Being a good boy now. <laughs> so, um, anyway... Uh, Call me and uh, gist me how it went in you know, tomorrow. Okay. Mm, or I will. better still, if you want me to be around. No, no, no. I, I don't want you anywhere around. All right? I can take care of things for myself. I don't want any paparazzi or any uh, nosy paka coming around my engagement. Just show, okay? I'll take care of it. It's mine. Anyway, cheers. Cheers to, cheers to a good life and a love life thank you <laughs> cheers now you're being a good boy now you are being a good boy man this guy will not kill me <laughs> but these people don't even score like even one go aston villa what's their problem
Cynthia. Hmm? Cynthia, uh, sorry to disturb you. Um, the ring, um, my mom's ring. Hmm? Did you by any chance uh, see it around? I know I took it from you. I collected it, but I'm looking for it. <laughs> I'm not sounding funny, am I? Why are you looking for the ring? Hmm? Oh, wait. Are you now ready to propose to the lady you have been obsessed with these past few weeks? What are you talking about? The lady you have been talking to on phone. Like she's the only person that matters on this earth. Since I talk to all my clients, then, like they are the only ones that matter on earth. Uh, that's that's how clients. I do my job. Like they are the only people that matters on earth and that's how you do your job. Cynthia, this is not a joke. Where is the ring? Go and ask the lady you've been talking to on the phone. Wait, are you jealous or something? Tell me, are you jealous? Oh, yeah. You're jealous, right? Hey, come here. Oh. I know you have the ring, so stop with the games and just give me the ring, please. Cynthia? I treat you. You did what? You're joking, right? You know I don't joke. I do extreme things. Wait. Cynthia, don't don't even tell me you threw the ring away. You know how important that ring is to me. You know the significance of that ring. That ring is my mother's ring. It belonged to my mother. I why would you do that? I, I don't want to hear your explanation. Okay? You know what? I'm done with you. I'm done with you and anything about you. Just pack your things and leave my house, okay? I don't want to hear anything from you. I don't want you to be part of my life again. Just leave. Go. Go out. I'm done. What's wrong with you? Just pack your things and leave my house now! Are you okay? Why are you outside? Eh? What is Oscar talking about on the phone? Why are you outside? He sent me out of his house. He said I should not come close to him. Oh no. What did you do? It's okay. It's okay. I'll go inside and talk to him, okay? It's okay. Stop it. People are looking at you. Stop crying. I'll, I'll go and talk to him, okay? Just hold on. Wait, hold on, please. Ah, Cynthia, I'm coming. I'm coming. Eh? Calm down. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar the Great, Kai, but we're a fine girl. Ah, ah. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm not fine now, Oscar. My friend is outside and homeless. How can I be fine? Look, I know, I know she must have hit you somewhere very hard. Can I've me, never seen you like this before. Me, you know that. You know I've never been like this before. I know. But look, I mean what I said. I don't want to see her. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to have anything to do with her. I'm serious about it. Uh-uh. That's not true. You and I know that that's not true. You know that you want to tell her that you care about her. You know that you want to tell her that she's beautiful. You want to tell her that she's the best thing that happened to you. And I know that you want to tell her that you forgive her. Kim, Come on now. It's not now. that simple. It's not that easy. That ring belonged to my mother. And I wanted to keep that ring with me forever. It's that special to me. 
I know. I know. But she loves you. She really does. She loves you. You need to see the way she smiles and the way she's happy when we talk about you. She loves you. No, she doesn't. I mean, she doesn't. If she did, she won't throw away the ring I wanted to give her. I had a picture of her and the ring in my head. I had a picture of me engaging her. Now she's destroyed everything by doing something so stupid. It's okay. Just give me a moment. Let me go call her. Okay? Please, please. If I call her, just don't be it angry. It won't change please. anything. It won't change it's, anything. I'm coming. Just calm down. I know you're angry, but I think you should tell her now that she's here. I mean, you, you both need to talk about it. Oscar, I'm sorry. No, you're not. And I mean everything I said. I don't want to see you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't want to know anything about you. I'm completely done with you. Oscar, it's okay. You know, I think I should leave you both to settle this, please. Please, come here. Oh, no, it's going to be fine. You guys should just talk. Oscar, just talk to her, okay? Just calm down. Yeah, I'll be in the room. I know you hate me. I know you regret trying to help me. I'm sorry, please. I know you regret trying to help me. I know you hate me right now. Do you know what's so crazy? The fact that I... It's so difficult to be your therapist because of the feelings I have for you. It was so easy being your therapist to other people, but not you. The time I'm with you is so different. I'm crazy. I told you that. And I told you I don't care. I told you I loved you. I told you I wanted you. And I told you I could break your head like I did with other guys. Oh, God. You are truly crazy, you know that? Change, you know that? I don't know why I didn't see it. I think I've been so focused on the little thing that you did wrong and I forgot every single thing you've been doing right. Because you were so different. I mean, you were so angry. The throwing tantrums every single time, hitting your face on the wall, breaking plates every single place. I should have seen that. I guess you're right. If I wasn't able to control my emotions, I would have thrown this away. What? No way. Are you playing with me? I, 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 just, I just felt jealous when you started talking to that lady. Look, Cynthia, all the ladies I talk to on the phone, they are just clients. They're just people I talk to, people that need my help. People that need me to build their confidence, make them feel better about themselves. That's what I do. You are the only one. You're the one that I love. You're the one that is truly meant for me. How were you even able to control the urge not to throw this away? You were different. You're, you're, you're a good therapist. I... 
I guess that answers your question. I, I, I think I have fallen in love with you. You know what? Let's not waste any more time. Let's make this official. Cynthia, I love you. And all I want to ask you this moment is will you agree to be my wife? Yes, hey, 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 come here, 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 I love you so much, and you change everything about me, you made me break all the rules, and I don't know what I would have done if you were saying no right now, because, you're everything to me right now. 